Cedar 16 boys final between Cedar Bridge Academy and Saltus Grammar School and very quickly we'll give you the lineups for Cedar Bridge Academy Jordan Casarano, Jacory Wolf, Jessica Furbert Wade, Zamir Smith, Alonzo Parsons, Nico Gibbons Douglas, Kevin Pacheco, Raquan Rochester, Mikael Simmons, Dimitri Daniels, Makai Bettersby, Shantuan Lambert, Darren Usher, Jody Carlington, and Caldre Burgess. The lineup for Soltis, Teray Thomas Wright, Jalen Smith, Jordan Medeiros, Seamus McKettrick, Nicholas Arujo, Jonas Bulo, Fabio Pacheco, Mark Godfrey, Nigel Williams, Javon Swan, Liam Evans, Stephen Simons, Ashton Bell, Keaton Pewter, Deshaun Benjamin, and Saj Dill. Co-commentator, Andrew Painter. Thank you, Mike. And we're here at the over 16 final, Cedar Bridge, having the early attack here against Soltis. This game has a quick pace to it. Some of these guys play first division and premier football here on the island for various teams. And a missed kick from the goalkeeper could have been costly. And here comes Soltis on the attack. And also, Andrew, after a full day of soccer, this is uh, the big one that the scouts will be looking for some talent to recruit for their colleges overseas, etc. This is the match that we've been waiting for. I hope it lives up to expectations because we have had some exciting soccer during this Bermuda School Sports Federation's knockout finals. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a time for these, these layers to put on their skills and show Bermuda what they can do and the rest of the world. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that number nine from Soltis, Nigel Williams. He seems to have a few tricks up his sleeve there. Nice little back heel just now. Oh yeah, it's a lot of tension down there. As we see number six coming in, Jonas Bulo to calm him down. So tension is real high down there on the field. Breaking rights are on the line here. Here's the cross. Oh! Now so Evans, Evans on the turn, but a misdirected effort there. Well, the game has started out to all the hype. It is lively. There's tension on the field. Both teams trying to claim the winner's cup or the knockout. Here's a goal kick for Cedar Bridge. Casarano. Uh, center back down there, number two for Cedar Bridge. Wolf sends it long. Oh, headed back safely to the goalkeeper by Bell. Play switching up, going far side. Oh, sent long. I'd just like to mention, Mike, that Soltis' goalkeeper is actually part of the ongoing high school fitness challenge. So he's had a busy couple of weeks. Should be in pretty good shape. See, Wendy Woodley is the referee for tonight's grand finale. As Bell is chasing there. It'll be uh, the first corner of the match, I believe. Awarded to Cedar Bridge Academy. We're five minutes down. Good corner. 
Living Heart by Soltis Clearsy Ball. Evans tries to turn it upfield. Oh, Good nice football. Field. Just a little too heavy. Evans chasing hard, but it's cleared there by Gibbons Douglas. Nico. Throw in quickly taken there by Swan. Big boot, but only as far as Bulow. Oh, the flag goes up. Oh, it's some rough and tough stuff going on down there. Pacheco. The whistle goes. Free kick to Saltis. Earlier tonight, we saw battles between the MAGA schools, Barkley and Cedar Bridge Academy, but now it's Saltis. Oh, excellent delivery. Is in the box. This is game number three. Oh, oh it's what a goal! goal! Number three, Madeiras, Jordan Madeiras, but it has been ruled offside and disallowed. The flag has gone up. But you can see, to turn on a dime like that, Jordan Madeiras could have very easily put his side up one nil, had it not been for the offside flag. Cedar Bridge now. Turned inside, very easily. Oh, this is, this is interesting. This is interesting. Oh, stripped right at the final moment there. And the whistle goes, it's coming out. Free kick to Salters. Trying to go down the side, but uh, intercepted there. Flicked inside to number 14, Battersby. Ear ball. As Shaco tries to bring it under control. Now it's uh, Williams. Williams. Loses possession to Burgess. Pressing hard up there is Furbert Wade, but he has no support. A throw in for Cedar Bridge on the far side. <laughs> Quickly taken. Another throw in also for Cedar Bridge. Yeah, the soldiers defender just easing up some of the pressure that Cedar Bridge has put on his side early in this game. They're constantly feeding. Uh, Jessica, just Connie Furbit Wade up front. Oh, Salter's come up with it in the midfield. He has space in front of him. He needs oh. to pick up his head and look for a pass. That's Pacheco flicking it inside. Oh, chipping it too long was Bulo. Go kick Cedar Bridge tempo of this uh, all-important grand finale. An awesome pace here. We're in the 10th minute. Salter's already having a goal disallowed. Here they come again. Oh. Evans unable to bring it down. Just need to open his body up a little bit more just now. We should mention here also, Andrew, these are 35 minute halves. Somewhere during the course of this first half, we'll try to give you a recap of what has taken place during this Lindo's Bermuda School Sports Federation knockout finals here at the National Sports Center. Yeah, 
much fog. Whistle blows. Fog Yang Soltz, he had his hands on his back just now. That's a long kick forward. It's cleared up by the soldiers' defense. They're just absorbing the pressure right now. And there's that outlet pass to number 11, Evans. He cuts back, he shoots, and it's just wider than their post. And with that, uh, we're going to take a quick opportunity just to recap. Earlier in the primary school boys final, it was West Pembroke defeating St. David's 7 0 in the under 13 boys. Uh, match it was Clearwater 2 0 over Whitney in the over 13 boys final. Uh, Clearwater shot out TNT 4 zip. Also taking place in the under 16 boys final, it was uh, Cedar Bridge defeating Barkley 4 3 kicks from the penalty spot. <clears throat> And then moments ago, you saw Barkley defeat Salters 3-2 on kicks from the penalty spot after being deadlocked 2-2. And now the all-important final. Cedar Bridge versus Salters. And his Evans pressing hard. Soltis here linking up the passes and it's a long shot. Oh! <laughs> that was number seven, Pacheco from Soltis. End to end action here. 13 minutes down and still scoreless. What a weekend of activity it has been, uh, Andrew. Yes, we had the volleyball yesterday, the Napple All-Star Games, and today is the school knockout finals for football. All put on it thanks to Lindes. Here's Soltis with the corner at the back post. See the Bria's trying to clear it. Now the corner. And he sliced it. Soltis take their time on the corner and they play a short to Pacheco and he shoots. Well blocked by the Cedar Bridge defender. I want to mention here quickly, Andrew, that both teams look amazingly fit. Mind you now, we're in the early going. Still plenty of time remaining in the first half and the second half, but from what I've seen thus far, both teams are very hyped for this final. Ooh. Yes, Mike, this game's being played at a very high pace and it's very physical out there. We've seen a few players take a few knocks early on already. This is a, so, a, a short Solstice Thermia. Looking to find a play of a light chip down the line. Oh, uh, there you go there. Madeira is trying that back heel. Turns it inside now. As Parsons changes up play for Cedar Bridge, sends it over here on the right side as Caldre Burgess flicks it inside. Making his run now is Simmons. 
excuse me, Rochester. And we can see uh, Coach Figueredo is already opting to go to his bench. He's going to bring on Stephen Simons. Replacing uh, Jordan Medeiros. The crowd looks to have built up a little bit for this all important over 16 boys high school final. As Cedar Bridge regains possession here and looks to play the game on third end pace, but they're up by Soltis in the end half. Pacheco skips cross two, looks for a pass, and is taken down for late tackle. As the ref has a wire to him, just tell him to calm down a little bit. Soltis has another free kick here. About 45 yards out. But these free kicks have been dangerous today. We've seen a few girls come from these already. Game with the win. He takes a hit. Too much on it. Soldiers cleaning up any Cedar Bridge attack. It's a Cedar Bridge goal kick right now. In the 18th minute of play and scoreless. And it weren't the best skill kick. And Evans trying to capitalize on it, but it has a bare first touch and it takes it out of play. Cedar Bruce has a quick throw in, which probably weren't the smartest idea as Evans recovers. And that's Swan, looking to switch the play. Lovely pass, Pacheco. Oh, he gives it away. Yep, uh, Saltus is definitely controlling the midfield. And here's Williams. Looking for Evans, but it was cut out by Burgess. Long throw there, but it's uh, met firmly with Ashton Bell. He's looking really solid down there. Soltos look like a well-drilled outfit at this stage. They they look the more physical side. Cedar Bridge look like they have the quicker players. There's a throw quickly taken there by Nico Gibbons Douglas. And it's a short pass. That's number 14, Battersby. To number 9, Simmons. 
He still has the ball. He's done some good work. But soldiers clears the danger. And here comes Cedar Bridge again, rebuilding their attack. Evans. Swan. Back to Evans. Cuts back. Gives it back to Swan. He's playing a bit of link up play. And he's pulled down there, but the ref's going to have nothing to do with it. And here comes Cedar Bridge on the attack. As they spread the play out wide, just looking to open up some gaps in the Soltis defense. And he has, and here's a shot. And he strikes it wide. Good opportunity. Right number 10 there. Dimitri Daniels. I think he's a Danny Town Hornets player, Mike. Twenty-two minutes down now, and still scoreless. And this all-important grand finale. Here's Simons, <clears throat> and he goes to cross his opponent, who's pulling the jersey, and it's Evans. It falls to Evans, who twists and turns in the box. Uh, quickly onto him is Parsons. Back wide again to Dimitri Daniels. He seems to be the go-to go guy on the left side. Oh, good through ball. This could be interesting. Oh, uh, nothing on it. Well wide of goal. No problems whatsoever to goalkeeper. Torre Thomas Wright. Wayne Wright. Carlington's been, it's been a spectator up there by himself for Cedar Brears. Hasn't really got anything. <laughs> Short goal kick. Salt is electing to play that possession ball. Someone got on court on possession, has to back pass. Swan going long. Salters trying to build something Williams again. Williams with the cross. <laughs> that's, that's Daniels with the quick legs out there. The right back of Salters is having a bit of trouble with Daniels' speed. That's Arujo over there, Nicholas Arujo, the right back. Battersby plays it safe. Back to Battersby. Oh, slips around one. Uh, Whistle goes. See the bridge free kick. About 35, 40 yards out. There's two people standing over the ball. Your friend Dimitri is one of them. Daniels, looks like they're gonna leave it. I believe that's Dimitri. Two men wall. Oh yeah, dipping, oh watching. Oh, goalkeeper had to watch that closely. It bounced just in front of him. Yeah, so you see a lot of goalkeepers struggle with that bounce right in front of him. And here goes Pacheco, still good. And Swan wins the ball. Simons, I'm sorry. See Swan hustling back there. Number three for Cedarbridge, uh, Furbert Wade with the throw. 
cleared big time. Oh yeah. Nobody up front there with with uh, Simons. And what a great tackle. That was a great tackle, a world-class tackle. A girl saving tackle. But then he just kicked the ball out of play. Yeah, that's uh, Jikori Wolf. He's the center back down there. Kick has been awarded to Salt Squamma. Yeah, Nigel Williams standing over the ball, gonna look to whip this right in. See if he can find a Salt's player and look for that opening goal. There's a cross. And it's bobbling around the box. We'll see the bridge clear. And a false to Pacheco. Pacheco's having a pretty good first half also. If I'm going to go by the amount of times that we uh, hear his name mentioned, or mention his name. He's, he's very strong on the ball. And here's Evans with the long free kick. Just looking for that ball inside the box. He drives it. Whoa! Oh, and I think that's him the, the top of the bar. I think we have a corner here, Andrew. That was Goalkeeper a good uh, just got a f his fingertips to it. I think that skimmed the top of the bar. Well, the referee's assistant was indicating corner. Now we're just waiting for the ball to be retrieved. The question is, who's going to get it? <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Cedarbridge stood up as if to say, hey, it's your corner. You get it. <laughs> 28 minutes and scoreless. Please. the bridge goal kick. There's Pacheco just missing it there. Swan now going down the line. He's still Saltis. Pacheco again. Swan with the throw in. Really take it quick. Uh, whistle there. As Bulow was trying to get something going, but the referee, Wendy Woodley, right on top of the play. Free kick, Cedar Bridge. Parsons going long. Daniels is down there, but it's picked up by the Salter's defense. Oh, what a move by Burgess there. Taking it inside. Whistle goes again as Battersby goes down hard. That was a good fall just now. The Salter's defense broke the attack right up. Slitty played on. The refs cap our cards in her pocket. Went to the 30th minute now, Andrew, and still scoreless. Once again, here's Parsons with a free kick. Can Cedarbridge come up with something from here to take into the dressing room? There's the long ball. Flag goes up on the far side. Oh, this is a chance here. Caldre Burgess oh, with the left footed shot, but the, the flag was up. We're 
getting ever so close to the halftime whistle. And neither team able to come up and break the deadlock thus far. Yes, as you see, referee Willie taking a quick glance at our watch. But it is end-to-end -end action in this senior over-16 boys knockout final. You see John Beard, who's a dominant figure over there at Salters. Good to see his face in the place. Showing his support for his team. Throw in Swan for Salters. Headed into touch by his teammate. Evans should have brought that down on his chest just now. He put it on the control. Seabridge forced to back paddle. Parsons trying to go long. Parsons again takes a deflection. It steals Seabridge. Oh, what a tackle! Oh, what a move there. Whistle goes as uh, Godfrey was trying to do some things. Mark Godfrey. It looked like a little bit of tugging going on there. <laughs> Soldiers has the height. They should really get more players in the box. Oh, did he touch that and... Give up a corner? Yes, he did. Bad decision there by Casarano. He should have let it run. <laughs> We're now in the 33rd minute and we remain scoreless. While the tempo has been nice, I still think some of the earlier matches uh, have sparked uh, a little bit more interest, but still plenty of soccer remaining. I was really excited about the, the ladies, the girls final. Yes, uh, that was probably one of the more exciting games today, actually. Both teams played very hard. There was plenty of girls, and they kept the fans on the edge of the seat in the penalty shootout. And here's the soldier's corner. And there's a good one, full to the captain. Teammates went into each other. And one of these teams come up with a go ahead goal in the first half. Parsons is very strong on the ball there. You know that uh, referee Woodley will give a little additional time with the amount of time that was lost of having to retrieve the ball once it has uh, gone into touch. I still feel Carlington needs a strike partner up there. They haven't found him at all. Cedar Bridge don't really have an attacking outlet. Whistle goes. Free kick to Salter's Grammar. And we are now in the 35th minute. This is when things happen between here and uh, that little bit of additional time. Teams are just a little tired. There's a long ball. It's a good ball from oh. Bell, but Evan slices at it. His eyes must have opened right up just now as he was right in front of Gill. Tough angle there on his weaker foot, but he still attempted it. Goal kick, Cedar Bridge. Casarano fre frequently comes to, goes to his right. And uh, the whistle goes, a bit of pushing. It'll be against 
Sotis, uh, the number nine there. Williams, the odds are Parsons uh, takes most of the free kicks for Cedar Bridge. And that's the halftime whistle. So after 35 minutes of play, it's uh, scoreless here between Cedar